make up your mind about what you believe and don't just blindly believe in others. And then ask yourself, do you really know if these people see you correctly or are they perceiving you through their own filters? You know this perception is projection paradigm. You may have heard about it. And the idea is simply that we are not able to see correctly others simply because we are too much distorted in our own views, through our own beliefs, our own stories, our own moods, our own thoughts. So whatever we see is really just a, a very limited version of reality. So if someone criticizes you for something, usually they criticize you because they are projecting onto you. You know, the person that may make a comment on your weight may have been struggling with their weight themselves or may be really afraid of not being fit and trim or whatever those fears are that then get projected onto you. Sometimes we don't know why and what people project on us, but we can always be sure that it says more about them, whatever they are saying that makes us feel ashamed, than it says about us. And we just have to remember that the only person who can really only accurately judge you is yourself. And for that, it's also good for you to see the shame as a reminder that you may not be clear about who you are. And you may not be really clear about your value system. You may not really know accurately what you believe in. And so just checking in on yourself and saying, what do I stand for? What's really important to me? What, what are the values that I want to uh, subscribe to? But it is such an important foundation, fundamental or foundational awareness to know your well values, because then you can also know if you're living according to them or not. And if you do something that is something that you believe in, but then someone questions you. The moment you know, well, sorry, you can question me, but I really believe that this is right. I can consider your opinion, but I don't have to take it on and shame myself for it. In that moment, you also know that the shame was simply a reminder and maybe a, a catalyst for you to explore more about yourself and be more curious about yourself. Hi, Dr. Friedman here. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about fear and anxiety, here you'll find guided meditations, webinars, and interviews with some of the most renowned experts in the field of empowerment. Delve into the over 230 videos and more to come every week.